Hello, welcome to this video. It's going to be a sewing one this time. I've got a project in mind to make a sort of woodland, greeny, browny fairy dress. Um, and I'll show you what I'm starting off with. Here we have an Indian tunic. It's pure silk and it's gorgeous fabric. I love the way these little flecks of metal glint in the sun. Um, there isn't a lot of sun today, but trust me, it happens. See, look, it's really pretty. Um, there's a few flaws. There's a stain here and here. Underarms are good, so I shall... Um, I don't know yet. Uh, it's also not colour fast. This sort of, I love this sort of mottledy green, but that's happened from me hand washing it and some of the colour running. But I love it, so I'm happy with that. So it's quite a plain beginning. There's not much of the um, really fancy embellishments that I sometimes work with, but I still I absolutely love it and. I'm looking forward to getting sewing again. It's been a while. And uh, right, so I need to raid my fabric stash and get started. So I should probably explain if you're new here that um, the sort of things I make are generally a sort of patchwork mishmash of fabrics. So I begin with something quite often like this and then I'll cut out the floors. I've just spotted a few more stains at the bottom there and just sort of work with the fabric, manipulating it. Um, fabrics like silk that are usually dry clean only, I tend to wash first anyway, because, well, I can't afford to dry clean all the silks that I get. And then I um, combine it with other fabrics and turn it into something new. So I should have probably put in a little bit of an explanation at the beginning, so here it is. Yeah, do go and have a look at my shop, Ocean www.ocean.co.uk I'll put the link below and you'll see the sort of things I make and this will be um, probably quite a fancy dress so it'll probably end up in my Ocean Occasions shop and I hope you enjoy watching this video and seeing how it all comes together <laughs> of Lowood that my spirits rise instantly. I dress with care.
finished at last. Um, it took a few days, uh, but it was really good fun. It was so nice to get sewing again. It's been a while. Um, so here's the finished thing. Ta -da! Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It turned out really nicely. Um, it fits me. So as the cheapest model available, I'll be doing that. Uh, hopefully when the weather gets a little warmer, it's still freezing outside. So it might be a while before this gets in the shop, but then I am really behind on doing the video, so it might end up being about the same time. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the main tunic bit is still fairly obvious. It's That bit hasn't changed a great deal. I've just embellished the neckline. I've used the same fabric for frills sort of throughout. We've got pure silk, pure silk, cotton with little mirror embellishments, a bit of net, more cotton underneath it's a silk viscose mix lining so it's really nice and soft um and the back i'll come and get ya <laughs> so here's the back again there's the sort of embellished collar and i added corset la lacing at the back to so if it's a little big you can just pull it in at the back and it'll keep a really nice flattering shape. And more cotton, more pure silk, some silk chiffon, this is lovely. Some more of the tunic fabric, more of the cotton, cotton, some s embroidered silk here. Net silk chiffon and it's got these little crystals in as well which is really pretty. Um, and then I think this is... I'm not sure. It's sort of brushed cotton. That's a vintage fabric, that is. Um, so that's all the different fabrics at the back. The last thing I did was sew in some beads in the collar. So we've got some cute little tiny beads. Vintage pearl here. And yeah, there we are. This is silk as well. Yeah, so there's some really nice luxury fabrics in there, so it's ideal for a woodland wedding dress or a special occasion, maybe a prom or a fairy ball maybe. Um, yeah, just add a pair of wings and some more glitter and away you go, <laughs> off with the fairies. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing how I made the dress. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please subscribe so you get to see Lots more art crafty sewy videos, diff different things and some blogs thrown in. Um, all my contact details are below, my website and links to where you can buy the dress. So please have a look at that if you'd like to. Okie dokie. See you soon. Bye.